We do have another article from The Daily Wire. We have Baron Trump declines offer to be RNC delegate due to prior commitments, but he does like politics, of course. He does like politics because his father was the president. His mother was the first lady. So you're going to have to like um, politics at that point because you're a very political family. Former President Donald Trump's youngest son, Barron, has declined to an offer to be delegate at this year's Republican National Convention, RNC, but not for a lack of interest in politics. A statement from former First Lady Melania Trump's office said, while Barron is honored to have been chosen as a delegate by Florida Republican Party, he regretfully declines to participate due to prior commitment, according to The Hill. Donald Trump, who is the presumptive GOP presidential nominee in the current election cycle, said in a radio interview on Friday, that Barron does like politics and often gives his, his father advice on what political moves he should make. He's really been a great student. Trump said of his son who graduates from high school next week and he does like politics is sort of funny. He'll sometimes tell me, Dad, this is what you got to do. Um, On Wednesday, the Florida Republican Party selected Barron to be an at-large delegate at the RNC in July in Milwaukee. And if Barron has gone through it, the 18-year-old would have joined his half-siblings, Donald Jr., Eric, and Tiffany to be part of the Florida delegation. A Trump campaign official had previously told ABC News that Barron was on the delegation roster and is very interested in our nation's political process. Barron was just 10 years old when his father was elected to the White House in 2016. Since the time, Barron has largely kept out of the spotlight, only occasionally appearing besides his parents and family at campaign and public events. In recent weeks, however, the media has focused more on Donald Trump's youngest son, who now towers over the family at 6'7", as the former president sits through a criminal trial in Manhattan. Donald Trump Trump has been stuck in the courtroom for four days a week in a trial focused on 34 felony counts for falsifying business records to allegedly cover up payments, including to adult film actress Stormy Daniels, in a bid to conceal damaging information as part of a yada 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 yada. We already know all this. It's just BS. They're trying to tar- tag this on Trump. Um, and then now they're trying to attack his youngest son, Baron Trump, just because of the fact that he is his son. I completely agree with this decision at the same exact time because of the fact that he should stay out of politics politics is really not a good thing you get attacked relentlessly for doing absolutely nothing i saw a compilation of baron trump throughout the years since his father was elected to office and people are just making fun of him in the comments keyboard warriors at this time of age they just talk whatever they want about whoever they want and not even thinking that people actually have feelings it's just sad seeing all of the attacks on him he's just 18 years old he just turned 18 years old he's just graduating high school and then to see all these people just hate on you and what no reason whatsoever other than the fact that your dad is your dad so i don't know it, it just does not sit right with me to just attack somebody because of the fact that baron trump is not even in the political spotlight whatsoever he was selected not not appointed not saying that he wanted to he was just selected to be a delegate in florida and now people are saying oh he's so ugly and he should kill himself and blah blah blah, blah. like no that's not right these people people that say stuff like that online just need to touch grass like brett cooper likes to say they need to touch grass these people need to see the real world because you know you need to get off your phone because that's not the reality that you should be living in that's not the that's not the society that you should be forming for us and everybody living in society telling people to kill themselves just because of the fact that they are parents are their parents that's sad that's a little pathetic people need to think about what they say before they say it because it's really frustrating